Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, I'm gonna mesh a U6 Lite to the U6 LR, and then we'll test the speeds to see how well it works. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do have an Amazon storefront and I'll put the link in the description below. So why would you want to mesh your access points together? Well, the biggest reason is you can't get a physical cable to the access point, but you can still reach a power outlet. So I'm gonna grab a PoE injector and we're gonna plug it into my U6 Lite and then do the wireless uplink between the U6 Lite and the U6 LR. So let's go get that plugged in and then adopt it into our controller. All right, here's the setup for the U6 Lite. We have a PoE injector and on the PoE injector, we're plugged into the PoE port and that's powering up our U6 Lite. We have nothing connected to the network. I don't even have any network jacks around here. So it will be a wireless uplink. All right, now as you can see, our U6 Lite is pending adoption. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the U6 Lite and we're going to adopt. Okay, now our U6 Lite is adopted into our controller through a wireless uplink. I'll go ahead and I'll click on the U6 Lite. And you can see right here that it's connected wireless. Let's check out the transmit and the receive rate. So if we scroll down to uplink wireless, we can see that the uplink AP is our U6 LR. And the transmit rate is 1.2 gigabits per second, and the receive rate is 960 megabits per second. So that's a pretty good throughput rate, and we should be getting some good speed tests and also do an iPerf test. So I've created this mesh test Wi-Fi network that's only going to be running on my U6 Lite. And we could see that here under the mesh test. If we go and look at which APs it's connected to, it is just on our U6 Lite. So let's go ahead and run a speed test. So as you guys can see, my phone is connected to the mesh test. And in my office, we're one floor away from this U6 Lite and I'll press go on the speed test. And that's pretty good speeds for a wireless uplink between two APs. We're getting 120 megabits per second down by 163 megabits per second up. My connection coming into the house is one gig by one gig. Now let's go ahead and do an iPerf test. And the first test we'll do is the download with five streams for 30 seconds. And we're getting 180 megabits per second down. Let's do the upload. and we're getting an average of 147 megabits per second upload. I'm gonna take my phone to the same level as the U6 AP, and they'll record what we get for a speed test in iPerf. And here's the speed test when I'm on the same level as the U6 Lite. And we're getting 242 megabits per second down and 196 up. That's great speeds for a wireless uplink. Um, most people wouldn't even need that kind of speeds. You only need about 20 megabits per second download to run a 4K video. Let's go ahead and do the iPerf test. And we're getting 253 megabits per second download. We're going to go ahead and do the upload. And we're getting 227 megabits per second upload. So I think the wireless uplink between the U6 Lite and the U6 LR is amazing. I haven't seen this type of speeds between any devices that I was doing meshing with before. If you guys have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.